Uh, one sort of stand out factor has also been how the defensive play has strengthened. If you look at uh, a heat map of the Nifty right now, you will see FMCG stocks standing out in trade today. Various reasons for it. Let's pull up a heat map of the Nifty. And you will see FMCG stocks standing out. Uh, and one of the reasons is also results. In some cases, it's a defensive play as well. Mahima is joining us with more. Yes, Mahima. Right, Tamana, so as you rightly mentioned, a lot of these FMCG names are, um, you know, bucking the trade today. And this is because, uh, you know, it's a, it's the defensive play that's taking place now. A um, couple of things which have all, also aided growth for this FMCG stocks is that um, there's been a uh, significant um, recovery in the rural demand and overall margin expansions for a lot of these names have taken place. Now, Britannia particularly is buzzing on the back of its uh, Q1 FI25 earnings, which came out Friday post markets. Uh, where numbers are largely in line. Uh, margins were slightly below the estimates. Net profits were also slightly below the estimates. However, uh, the volume growth was around 8%. Value versus volume was around 6%. And uh, um, for Britannia as well, the rural um, demand outpaced the overall urban demand. And um, they continue to target 2% cost efficiencies every year is what the management has guided today in their con call. And uh, they've said that they might further take price hikes of 4 to 5% if uh, the raw material price prices keep rising. Now, uh, Marico is also uh, buzzing in trade on the back of its Q1 earnings, which were announced today. Uh, numbers were largely uh, in line in terms of uh, net profit. It grew around 8.7%. And um, its margins have also expanded a tad bit. Now, key highlights, volume growth of around 4%. Um, the, the numbers were largely in line, like I said. And India sales growth was around 7.4%. And international sales growth was nearly 5%. However, the management has given their outlook um, in, in their investor presentation and they've said that overall food portfolio will be two times um, by FY27. They've said that they aim for a double digit EBITDA margin for the digital first brands by FY27 and overall foods and premium care will is expected to rise by 25% by FY27. And overall they've also said that they expect to retain double digit constant currency growth growing forward. Now other um, couple of FMCG names which are also buzzing in trade today include HUL, Nestle, uh, Dabur, Tata Consumer, as well as Godrej Consumers. Okay, thank you for that, Mahima. Let me go across to him and get his view on any of these stocks, you know. I mean, obviously, a defensive play. We saw this right after uh, the budget as well. We saw this right after the election result as well, where, you know, these come in for a sort of a bit of interest. Do you see that sustaining on the charts, him Yes, I think... Uh... If you look at the Nifty FMCG index, on uh, uh, we posted all-time high last week, and we are not, we are slightly, but not comparatively very far away from the high. And the interesting one is Hindustan Unilever. We've been um, here for what uh, four years? Four years. It's in a very, very large range, 1850 on the downside and 2850 on the upside, so that's thousand points. And for four years, we've gone nowhere. Obviously, there have been bounces on both sides. So if and when we take out this 2850 range, I think uh, it's going to be the beginning of a bigger move. So still looks good and selectively, yes, I think many of the, even go let's continue, many of these FMCG stocks are even, uh, okay, uh, something like a Dabur move uh, and less consolidated, but Dabur, Tamanna has been here for three years. A breakout about 660 is going to take it past 800. So many of these stocks have taken years in a thriving bull market, I think their time in the for the place in the sun is coming.